This is a little different. Uh, welcome to my house. You can see us in the mirror over there. Hello. Okay. Let's hit this live. We're hitting all the devices here. Yeah. Hello, hello. We got Facebook, YouTube. We got hello, all, everybody. all the hello, tubes. Hello, hello, hello. We got Peluche. What's up? Mm. Hello, the sales studios. Hello, Neri Garcia. We have all the channels. <laughs> all the channels. All right. the channels. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good morning over there in San Diego. Just a quick hello. Buenos Hi, dias everybody. de California. We've got Rick from California. Nice. Right. Neri and I are going to be teaching today. We're going to be streaming it live right here for you guys. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're talking about everything that's going on. Neri has all kinds of things going on. We have our GoFundMe going on to help save our studio. Lots of stuff. But in the meantime, just enjoy our class. We want to have everybody chime in. So just if you have questions, we'll try to catch it. We're going to be over there with our coffee and our class. And peluche. If you haven't met Peluche, he's really the actual star of the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> California dog. Yeah, he's our, the, our California bebe. So, hello everybody there. Let us know where you're coming from. What's going on? <laughs> nice, okay, nice. Put the chats here. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so... Today's class is going to be Hola Cerca Las Vegas. Hi, Robert. On YouTube, John hey. Chaparro, San Diego de Seo Studios. What's up, JD? Abel from Croatia, Italy, Giuseppe, Germany. Wow, we got the whole world in my house. You see you guys. How exciting. We haven't done one of these and woof. Hi from Belgium. Hi from Gainesville. What? What's up, Terry V? So. So awesome. All right, Serena, let's get started. All right, we're ready. I like to say hi to everybody. I know. <laughs> we got so much to talk about today. Um, first of all, uh, just to let everybody know, if you see us going from one camera to the other, we are on Instagram Live. We're talking to all of you. Facebook Live <laughs> and YouTube Live. But of course, you can keep this, save it, and um, you know, I, I understand. So since we've been back traveling, a lot of you have come up to us saying thank you so much for the videos that we did in the past. I'm gonna put out some tunes. <clears throat> and so um, we're very grateful that you enjoyed the videos that we did, um, and we want to continue doing more. And so this is just you know Serena visiting here in Florida, and we said you know what let's. Let's get back and make another video and, and uh, create another move. And, and uh, thank you for all the love and support. You guys like us, how we dance, how we interact with each other, and how we interact with you. And so the energy is all good and positive and wishing you all the best wherever you are tuning in from. En español. Y ahora en español. Serena, Serena en español. Hola, gracias a todos. <laughs> <laughs> Aprendió mucho español. It's been a while, Mary. We need I to know, get it together. Más. <laughs> Pero bienvenidos a todos los que hablan español. Bienvenidos. Aquí estamos en, en el estado de la Florida. Y estamos en mi casa aquí en Fort Myers, Florida, o Cape Coral. Uh, pero ahorita tengo a Serena visitando en California. Y vamos a hacer un... Una clase, una clase como hacíamos antes, y espero que le guste, va a ser en uno y there en dos. It's a little hot here, it's still humid in Florida, so um, we're, we're, you know. Just chilling. Just chilling. Oh, I like your outfit, Serena. I try and to be, uh, you know, regular. Phoenix, all right. So we got, hey, Carl. we got, send us our likes, your loves, any questions you want. Um, We'll be trying to answer them. Should we warm up? We should warm up. Like the good old days? Heck yeah. Okay, if you want to warm up with me, we're just going to dance a little tiny bit. Neri's going to keep checking in the comments if you have a special request. 
please uh, just text it in like, hey, I have a question about blah, 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 yeah, styling or blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is your, a good time to um, set us up for that so that Mary can check it out while I'm doing the warm up and then we can address your question uh, during the class. Okay, so if you want to warm up with me, real short, let's just have a good time. Stand up, get the cheeks out the seats. All right, everybody, we're going to warm up. Montreal, Canada. Right, uh huh? What's up, London? Wondering where we're ever gonna have a cumbia class. Oh yeah! Cumbia. Cumbia class. Love it. Everybody, move your shoulders. Nice. I can see all of you. Come on, stretch with Serena. Wherever you are. Ooh, John says, maybe a hustle class. We did hustle last night. Azerbaijan in the house. I've been to Azerbaijan. Beautiful country. No, la clase no es en Salsa Casino, va a ser estilo Nueva York o estilo Los Ángeles. Cypress, oh my goodness. ¿Cómo estamos? We're warming up, everybody, if you're just tuning in. Oh, snap. Buenas, buenas. Estamos calentando. We're warming up with Serena right now. Ahorita el estilo va a ser estilo Nueva York or LA style salsa. What we call elegant style salsa. Holland, Joy, good to see you, Joy. Everybody, shake it. Woo! Serena is dancing on one right now. On one. Egypt in the house. New Orleans. Eso Serena. Ciudad de Mexico in the house. is we're going to do parts of the pattern and then we're going to go in you'll see us move in and out because we're checking in to see what you are saying what um, yes what you know we really care about what you want it's not about what we're doing but what you want from from us and what you want to learn from us so uh you'll see us go in and out but it's not that we want to show you a, a zoomed shot of our shoulder or something <laughs> I don't mean to be doing this. I'm just checking in over here. <laughs> so uh, we are going to teach the class on one, but we're also going to do it on two. Um, so that way, what? On Say two. what? Say what? Um, so that way we can, um, you know, move along and, and do moves. Our whole philosophy is that you do learn something new. We work with something slow, adding style to it. Uh, then going into a more intermediate, and then maybe adding something advanced, so that way you can um, work uh, and do all the things. That's right. Okay. Lista. I know you guys miss him. Let's do it. I and miss Sandy all of Higgins. you. You Sandy Higgins missing Mary. I know, I know. There you are. You're getting a close-up <laughs> shot. 
I'll be in San Diego actually mm -hmm. uh, this Friday. 29th. Yes, October 29th. I'll this be in Friday, California. everybody. So, you know what? Wow. We, should, we should do another live from your studio. Oh, we should out. New space. Oh, we should out. Let's do it. Okay, everybody. So, we're going to start out nice and simple. My rule as a lead is that I always like to start in close position. Rules. Uh, rules because if I start an open, I don't know what her skill level How's is. How's my connection? Own. You know, all these things. And it's really good, um, guys, to start in close position. You can tell a lot about how the dance is going to go just by how she connects with you. With you, 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 and you. So let's start out with something simple, which what we call a reverse cross body lead. Again, I'm going to go one, two, and three. A reverse cross body lead, one, two, three, is when you take her to the right side. Okay? One, two, I move out of the track on three. As I lead her across, I move out of her way for five, six, and seven. One, two, three. Too okay. easy. 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 But if you want to add some style, right, and we start in open position. She doesn't want to add style. Right. One, two, three. I'm going to bring her to my uh, close position. One, two, and three. Five, six, seven. Leaving that arm for her to actually create some style. And this is what we'll get started. And what's cool about this is Neri kind of not just steps off the track, but he also kind of steps at a diagonal away from me. So watch him. He's going one, one two, away on three. And that tells me, oh, I'm definitely going to be passing him, or at least he's going to be receiving me, okay? And then he starts bringing me in with his left arm, bringing me in, but it kind of like makes this curve shape. So now he's bringing me in, so this is one, two, three, so now he's going to bring me five. That left arm curves around, and that's what tells me to turn. A lot of times, guys, um, what <laughs> I feel is that you just kind of bring me towards you, right? And then I'm like, oh, maybe we should hug. <laughs> But what you really want to do is kind of bring me around so that my body turns and then you can receive me in that closed position 90 degree. When I do that, I continue her shape. So I'm always, I'm not dropping my arm. So uh, let's move a little bit back. So yeah, you can't pass that. One, two, and three. I'm getting out of the way. I'm placing my arm here. I'm not reaching out for her. I'm sending her to my five, six, still continuing this shape. So then it looks like we're still one complete, um, mm -hmm. yeah? The reverse cross body lead. Questions, anybody? Let me check real quick. Preguntas, preguntas. We have over 100 people on the YouTubes. You guys Very have any nice. questions over here at the sale? I see you. This guy. And you this all guy. here. All right. Here. No so. Hi, I love all the waves. Let's see you know what? I'll be right back soon. I'm going to get the blue tape. Hello, Audi. Okay, very good, very good. Remember, if you have questions, um, ask them. Ask them, okay? All right. Yes. So, here to answer make sure all the things. you have see, one of these. See what's going on? The blue tapes. All the things. Should we do one track or the two rails? Oh, just one track. Okay. Like? Mm -hmm, just one. Okay. Let's put that down. Remember, you want to go? Yes, let's review the leads footwork, Neri. Okay. Okay. That's so why I brought the tape here. Let's do that. And no problem. Ooh. Hook. I think I got a mirror here. Good. And I know you guys are a little far Instagram. We're real far for... Um, the YouTube shot and the Facebook shots and all the things are different. So if you need us to come forward and demonstrate something, um, just type it in the comments, okay? All right, no problem, Luis. Let's do the footwork for the leads a little bit more. So even before I touch my partner, I place the tape down because I need to know that on my one, two, I remove myself three with my left foot, okay? As I bring her across, I'm going to step out five, replace myself six, and seven, never coming back into the track. So again, I'm going one, two, and three, five, six, seven, staying in front. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, just watch that one more time for the leads, but with me. 
So we're going one, two, three to this side, bring in five, six, stay on the track. And then you're set up in that 90 degree cross body lead position, like ready to go. Okay, we're gonna do the next move, okay? And then at, in between each move, we're gonna stop and check the comments. So, um, are we gonna add any styling? Oh yeah, let's do some styling. Yeah, let's do some styling for the ladies on this one we release. Okay, let's go back to this position. We're gonna go one, two, three. My posture is my style, five, mm -hmm. six, seven. Okay, so ladies, we have our, our follows, right? I'm always gonna say ladies, but I definitely mean follows. Your left hand is free in this moment. And we have this awesome opportunity to always use this move called a tail. Okay, a tail is when you lead with your shoulder and you roll it back to finish the line. Okay, so roll it, doesn't matter left or right. But it's really a shoulder roll, okay? But it's coming out as you turn your body. So this is a nice simple one. And since I'm moving to close, it's a nice easy one to approach him. Okay, you can do that or you can stay close. Maybe you're like, no, I'm too shy, I don't wanna do that. Um, that's fine, you can keep your hand in near you. And I like to go from my body to his body. So whether that's like a hair kind of swoop kind of onto his arm, or you can go from what I call necklace, which is right here by my necklace, okay, uh, from your chest. But if you do this one, you wanna make sure your elbow is up. Okay, so if you go from necklace to his arm, that's okay too. But I like the one from my head or from my body to his body, okay? That's a nice, simple one. So I'm going one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Super simple. Remember, don't, don't um, think it has to be too much. If it's clean and simple, it's often better. Perfect. From here, we're going to move on into our next move. We're going to go right into a cross body lead into an open break. I call this the helicopter. Don't ask me why, but it just feels like it. We Sounds open dangerous. Sounds dangerous. It does. <laughs> we're going to go one, two, three, and connecting for five, six, seven. Notice that I still keep my hand behind her. Let's do that part again from this cross body lead right here. So we're going to go cross body lead, five, open break. One thing I want to fix, please, please, I watch this all the time. Don't hyperextend your open breaks. Keeping it tight. We're going to go one, two, and three. I'm connecting my right hand to her left shoulder. And this is really crucial because usually in this moment, it can seem like he's gonna close position me under my arm for something like a back spot turn or whatever. So uh, ladies, you don't wanna anticipate by going on top of his arm because then we're gonna have a battle for who's on top. Okay, so you wanna notice it's that to he's going different. over, yeah, he's going over you, okay? And then also for the ladies, um, make sure that you're like, uh, you're, you're not going early for that. Notice he's going over you. And guys, also make sure you really are making that kind of arc so that we don't we don't mess up and try to provide something that you're not asking for. So we open one, two, three. Now I notice that she's on my right side, so we call this a right side pass. And I also understand like Pascal swing. Yeah, and I also understand that she's turning towards me, so that's a right turn for her. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna keep my hand low. On five, I start turning her. Six. Keep touching, keep touching, keep touching, keep touching. Seven. And this is crucial that you keep the hand here because we're going to continue with the move here. Okay? So let's do that one more time a little bit faster. So cross by lead one, two, and three. Five, six, seven. We open one, two, three. Five, six, and seven. Okay? And for the styling for that, ladies, we're going to stay low and neutral. Neutral just means in between your rib cage and your belly button. Okay, we're gonna keep them right here, neutral, nice and chill. Okay, we're gonna go out, which is really just a motion from my shoulder, just kind of opening my arm here. One, two, three, he's connecting with me. As he moves me, I'm gonna go down my body line or I can go up my body line, okay, up to you. So, by the way, Tanzania, what's going on? Hi. Wow. So, <clears throat> the other thing to avoid as a lead is don't have that hand like this because she's going to think you're going to want that hand. So, I don't present the hand one, two, until a surprise by three or two and a half. Five, six, seven. From here, I'm going to do a drive. Watch this. One, two, three, 
and five, six, seven, just to bring her back immediately. Up. It's two direction changes for us, and we go back where we started, which is really nice. Okay, um, I wanted to address something for the follow, so we're going one, two, out, three. I'm gonna go up my body, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna come in and out. Watch, we're going in, two, three, and out. Five, and back to neutral, just to keep it simple. So it's just like, kind of like, a, I call this a karate chop. It's not the most, uh, like, uh, sexy word for the style, but <laughs> my karate chop. One, two, three, and real smooth. One, two, three, okay? So this whole piece? Sure. Okay. We open great. So one, two, three, up six, five, six, seven. We come in one, two, three, stay neutral, six, seven. And whenever my arms are neutral, I start focusing a lot more on lower body styling, okay? Lower body styling is what? It's our hips, our feet, or just our, our leg work, right? All this opportunity for moving your body, moving your lower body. So we wanna go, let's say I have one, two, three, five, six, seven. I have less arm styling here. Maybe I want to do something more with my hip or step out or roll or play. I want to do something. This is your chance, right? Five, six, seven. So during that little, mm, uh, usually if my arms are busy or he's busy with my arms, it's, it's time for lower body. But you can think about that if that's something that you want to work on. It's not just arm styling, but styling for your lower body too. The footwork for the guys or for the leads as we're doing this, I'm actually opening break, right? I'm staying on, again, if I'm facing, this is my 12 o'clock, I'm gonna stay on the nine o'clock, pretty much the whole time. As I open, I stay on the nine o'clock side, or what we call the left side, five, six, seven, I come in again, one, two, three, but I'm gonna send it to my left side, five, six, seven. So this is a right side pass and a left side pass combined. So again, footwork, we open break, one, two, I grab the shoulder, turner, five, six, connect, I step in, one, two, and three, guide her, and five, six, seven. Notice I keep staying on the left side. That's awesome. What a bean, what a bang. Let's try awesome. this whole thing. Que piensan, que piensan, mi gente? What do you think? Let us oh, know. Man. Peluche, Remember, I think you're getting questions? all the people there. Yeah, Peluche gets the most likes. Um, if you have any questions, this is a great time to ask. Hi, Jam. Woo, it's hot. It is hot. It's flat. Let's, let's go over that whole part again. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to say something. Okay. Um, okay, so, yeah. I think just making sure that you're always in a, a, like, dance is just our communication, right? He's asking, we always think he's asking the question and the lady's answering the question. But really, he's requesting you to do something like in this moment. So if there's any extra noise or extra lead, guys, or extra follow, too much styling or too much something, we're gonna interrupt the communication. And this is something that we talked about in my boot camp here yesterday, was with your styling, you don't want to interrupt the communication between, uh, for each other. Okay, so definitely guy styling and girl styling, just make sure you keep it uh, kind of on your side of the fence. So if I'm doing something for myself, okay, I'm doing something really simple like a hair comb or this swoop or whatever, however you want to call it, um, that I'm not like taking my whole body away and now using all the rope here. Or like Mary was saying, same thing, you know, you just want to make sure, or if, I, or if I'm using my lower body that I don't like pull him around just to use my lower body styling. Okay, you always want to be very respectful of your partner and have your styling just be um, a supplement. And, and sometimes it's even just cosmetic, okay? So thank you very much, Terry V has been putting it out there about the GoFundMe for oh, Serena. Oh, Terry V, thank you. Um, <laughs> we will talk about that um, in the future, but yes, in the description on YouTube, and yes. we'll be putting that is, uh, we're also doing this to create awareness that, you know, Serena, um, is needing help, and that's okay. We need you. We, we need you. We, you know, um, so we'll be talking about that. But let's let's continue on the move. Okay. And then we'll we'll take a little break, and I'll have Serena explain what's going on in California. What's going on? All right.
So we're going to open break. We're going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven. We're going to go one, two, and three, and center back five, six under the bridge. And nice. one. Let's do it from the top with that reverse crossbody lead. Mm -hmm. Starting from here, remember we're going to start on point A. One, two, three, five, six, half, basic one, two, get out, leader to come in. Now that's how I know to put my arm up because his arm is low. Right. I'm going to send her out, two, three, for an open break. Remember the helicopter. I'm going to keep it close to surprise, five, six, seven. I guide her two, three, and send her under the bridge with a turn for the lead. Nice. Que piensa? Yes? Que bueno. All right. Well, Espanol. En español. Y ahora en español. <laughs> Siempre es tradición, hay que hacerlo. Okay. Vamos a contar. I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. Y cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco, seis, siete. Y uno, y tres, y cinco, seis, siete. Y ya. Woo, brings back memories. Woo. 2020. Well, Serena, uh, let's let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Okay. Uh, and that way they understand why, why we're okay. also here. So, um, what's going on is, can you guys see me there? Yeah. Let me move you here. Yeah, I'm going to stand right here and talk to everybody. So, um, you know, of course, both, both, all of you know that both of us, Neri and I, uh, really give our life to this, to teaching and to sharing with you and just like being self-expressed through dance and um, it brings us so much joy to uh, to be able to teach so this is our life right and uh, we know that it brings us joy because it's bringing you joy and it just fills our heart so um, we give our life to this so uh, I think both of us have been in this industry for about 20 years and uh, my studio uh, my dance company in San Diego has been around 13 years but we have had our new location for only three years. We're a baby building, um, but it is definitely my baby. So Neri was a huge um, factor in having the studio grow and be successful in its early days. Um, so I'm uh, utterly grateful to him. And now we're at a point where it's post COVID, right? Post pandemic. And um, although the town center has been very gracious and um, very generous with us with how we can stay and they've been very accommodating uh, with rent and things like that they're, they're really working with me there is still a a huge balance to pay and it must be paid by the end of this month basically so um, that's why there's a GoFundMe link there because my unit is being taken over by another tenant and the unit that we're going to be moving into although it's big and beautiful and Again, it's really great that the mall is uh, matching my old rent in such a bigger space. Like, we're super grateful. Um, but at the same time, if we don't meet the mark, we don't get the unit. You know, not in a mean way, just in a very real way. So we're doing our best to still have a studio and not just carry the pandemic debt. Uh, so that's what's going on. And the first $40,000 generated goes toward us just physically getting the space and the next 20 um, goes to the renovations that need to get done for the place to be up to code and functional for our students. So that's why we asked for 60,000. So it um, doesn't matter if you can share a tiny bit or a lot bit, or if you just uh, share, share the link exactly to others. We never know who that will reach. And we're so grateful because this is, a, of course, it's my home and my students dance home but it's also Neri's home and uh your home and your we, home we taught all the youtube the, all videos, the YouTube videos are from that space <laughs> all so. the youtube all those like cool purple lights and the blue of the day that's from the sale so um we're really thankful for all of the support so far you guys are always like online mm -hmm. with us especially you um you guys here on youtube you guys are the best the best so we're Super grateful and very, very thankful. Um, but yes, that is what's going on with that link. And so we appreciate you. And we'll be doing a couple more lives. Like Mary said, we'll do one there at the studio when he comes in next week, Halloween weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep this going until we until we make it work. We can do it. Si se puede. Si se puede. <laughs> okay. 
Um, and again, we are here doing this because we love it. That's um, right. We're doing the classes because we love it. We're not doing it necessarily because of the GoFundMe, but it is an awesome way to bring awareness. Um, and, you know, if this just makes you think about the dance studio in your neighborhood and you want to just help them, trust me, every dance studio needs help in some way, whether it's like volunteering your time or donating something that you have or just bringing like a case of water. You know how many people bring cases of water to socials and people are like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like everything always helps. Dance studio. Dance studios kind of always need the help. So this is where we need like the big help in like a crazy way. But, um, but I know that as a community, we got this. So. Let's do it. Well, thank you. Let's do it. Um, let's actually do this to merengue. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to, vamos a hacer este movimiento en merengue. Okay. Y somos bien agradecidos okay. a todos. Como le digo, ahorita okay. estamos tratando de recoger dinero para Serena. Sí se puede. Que se right. tiene que, que mudar de, de su estudio. Y a ver cómo la podemos ayudar. Ahí está el link. Okay. Pero, ready? Tenemos una pregunta. ¿Qué es la pregunta? How to work on the lead? Woo! That's a good question. I'll Before be right we back. do merengue. Before we do merengue, let's address that question. That's a good one. Because a lot of people say, oh, well, I don't have a partner, so XYZ. Okay? And that's totally legit. But there are many ways to work on that, and I think he's getting one of his um, things <laughs> that he works with to improve your frame. So that's a good one. Very good. Okay, the question was... Oh, here it is. That's right. <laughs> Man, I don't hear it. There <laughs> this is Roger, okay? And so Roger is something that we all use to practice on our frame. Roger. Frame is something you don't just practice in the studio. This frame is every day when you wake up, when you're driving, when you're at the supermarket. If you're at the supermarket, you work on your frame. Now, we need to do a Facebook Live or a, a live stream when Neri's at the supermarket. I would like to I'm see him. I'm going to do that. I see. Okay, so the first part to Roger <laughs> is this back part. I'm keeping my alignment. It's also a reminder mm -hmm. of what's going on uh, with my frame. I don't look like this. So I do like to practice. This is one of my secrets. And the other one is to actually keep this one in front, keeping my hands. A lot of you like to dance like this. I don't know if you noticed that when you're dancing, you're oh, I noticed. You're, you're doing this, and it looks funny. But if you notice with this Roger or the stick, it tells you that you're doing that. So my frame, I'm just trying to uh, work by myself. I don't need a partner right now. I always do. Um, is to make sure that I'm Peluche. keeping my alignment. Or I can dance with Peluche, right? Peluche. This also works with my turns. One, two, and three. Keeping that balance, keeping that frame. Uh, a lot of you, when you finish your turns, end up like this or break frame. But this also helps you. So you can go to the dollar store or you can go get an escoba, a broom, and make sure that uh, <laughs> you cut it into pieces and use it. So, Roger. There you go. There you go, Luis. My Roger t shirts That's for you, are coming from out. That's so. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Roger t shirts. Listen, so we have another request. Okay. Mary, if you're up for it, they would like to learn that move, move. where you separate your feet. And then you slide oh, up like you've been doing gosh. yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday I was Beetlejuice, and Beetlejuice has this uh, kind no, of... No, no, I was Beetlejuice. No, I was Beetlejuice. No, I was Beetlejuice. We're, we're all we're Beetlejuice. Both Beetlejuice. But yes, this, 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 I can't do it here on this floor because it's too sticky, but I don't know. As a kid, I always could do it. I don't know if all humans can, but I have a lot of strength. Uh, Superhumans. And so... I, I mean, I cannot do that, so... <laughs> <laughs> But it's pretty cool if you just practice. Like usually, um, I would do it on the cross by leaving, bring her across. But right now, I can't. This floor is too practice. sticky, and it's humid. But let's finish this move up real Sounds quick. Good. Uh, by the way, your hair looks fabulous. It's so long, wow. and it's so hot. Should have put it. In I'm, not, I'm not used to because it used to be all short when we were doing the other videos. We used to have matching hairs. <laughs> I gotta reach it. So we're gonna go basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Open break, two, three, and five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Okay? Mm -hmm. And dos, 
Y en dos. Vamos a hacerlo en dos. Let's También. do it on two. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Right. So smooth. Oye, oye. Okay. Very good. Good Let's job, Neri. See? Good job, everybody. It's so hot. <laughs> it is hot. Guys, it's hot here. We're going to add one more move to this, and then I want you to type in how do you want us to end the move. Okay? So it's up to all of you to send us in our journey of how we're going bueno. to end this this. Uh, Dance. They're gonna be like splits. <laughs> yeah, make it easy. So I did finish on a right turn, okay? And so I would also like to style for the ladies. So we're, we're gonna just play with this right now, okay? And I'm going to create something called the windmill. Windmill, okay? To give her some turns. Oh, that's my buddy. Hello, bird. Florida. So as I turn, I'm already here. I'm going to open break. One, two, three. But we can do a switch in the back windmill. Ooh. And again. Yeah. So from here, let's do it from this side. Um, I just did a right turn. My back is towards her. I'm going to open break on one, two, three. Notice I'm not bending her arm. I'm keeping it straight. I'm not pulling down behind her. I'm following her body, switching underneath. Bringing it over with my left hand now, and then doing another right turn again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And that shape for the leads, um, I know Mary will talk about this anyway, but it really is like a giant wheel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't want to have that wheel in some other angle. You want to really make sure that you follow it up and down when you lead that, because that's what keeps me on the track. So it keeps me on the tape. Okay, on the track. Is when you lead three, five, six, seven. That's very important. Okay, and you're during your open break, even though I'm behind you and you're like this, guys, you want to be off the track because she's gonna pass you on the right. Okay, she's gonna go straight through. So you want to make sure that you're, uh, if you're not off the track, that you get off the track way too. Okay, but during your open break, that you're really like making space for me. Otherwise, um, like if you're facing away. And if you're square in front of me, I mean, I don't know where to go, right? Uh, I'm, it's kind of confusing, actually. So you want to make sure that you're off the track to your left so I can pass you on the right, okay? Just some mini notes That's, from my perspective. Yeah. Of course, Neri's going to tell you to do that, but I'm definitely going to tell you from, yeah. my, from my actual view, if I only see your back, I, I don't know where to go. I feel stopped. And there are some moves where you need to stop me like that. So then I'm going to think, oh, he just wants me to like hang out here. Right. And he's just going to do something cool like that. But if that's not your intention, make sure you're very clear to step off the track to give me some, uh, the communication to go. Eh, bien importante, estamos haciendo la segunda uh, sí, movimiento. La segunda movimiento. <laughs> Ahí se uh, okay, so we're going to try this again, okay? If you don't see, somebody wrote about the link. Uh, for some reason, it's not popping up on YouTube. Uh, oh, don't worry, I'll be putting it in there immediately. But uh, it should be there. It's also on the Deseo Studios Instagram and our Facebook. So if you hop and check it out. But stay here with us. We'll put it in the, in the YouTube, no worries. And tonight I will also make a short video, a recap of all of this that we're doing today, the moves, like maybe under five minutes, and I'll have the link as well in there. Yeah, well. Okay. Vamos, Serena. Okay. So I'm going to open break. I'm going to go one. I get out. Two, three. By three, I have my hand up. 12 o'clock. We're going to go five, switch six, and seven. Okay? Si? Si. Desde el principio. From the top, 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 top. Desde el principio. And we're going to try two music as well. En del, uno. Del taco. Del taco? Sounds del like del taco. taco. <laughs> so, reverse cross body. You center. Five, six. Keep the frame. 
One, two, three, keep your frame. Five, six, seven. We open. One, two, shoulder. Five, six, keep the hand. One, into a drive. And five, six, seven. Now I'm going to go open break. Three, five, six, seven. Ten. Ooh, wait, I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't switch hands. One, two, three, switch hands. Five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that. Okay. And then I'm going to go, I usually like going to something called. Oh, you're going to ask them, right? Yeah. But I usually I do a hair comb, sombrero. And we're back in close position. And we're back in close yeah. position. I like, Keeping it simple. I like that because from here, there's so much. Oh, yeah. Three, six, you can eight. move me around the room now. You can just hang out here. You can do whatever you're going to do from this single arm close position. It's very nice, very simple. Um, anyway, that's the En dos. En dos. The whole thing, toda la cosa. En dos. Y con la música. Y después con música. Y tengo que sacar a peluche. I gotta take peluche out. Okay. And... En dos. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So, I two, forgot three. to turn. Five, <laughs> three. Take two. Okay. Let's do it about Uno, dos, tres. No, in Espanol. One, two, three. Five, one, two, three, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three. Ooh, very nary of you. Very, I know. I love very it. Very nary. That's another t-shirt we need. <laughs> that move is very nary. It's called a canopy, everybody. A canopy. What are we doing over here? Preguntas? Questions, anybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right, Mark. Them birds outside. Can you hear the birds? The birds. How we doing? So Serena's Instagram Hello, name is The Sale Studios. Yes. The Sale. I'll be putting that as well on the link. The Sale. Um, the Sale Studios. D. For the Sale. <laughs> okay. Um, Serena, eres, eres un chingón. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Terry. Yes, that is mine as well. Nary official. I miss you, Terry. Terry's like our, uh, Man. Terry is like our long distance uh, tech. <laughs> you know, he's like, remember this, do that. I love it. I love you. you you're hired. <laughs> okay, and we have that to do. And also, uh, there's a question about, Serena, when do you raise your arm as you do a turn? All right, so how do you... Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Sacramento. Hi, everybody. Okay, so anytime. You can raise your arm anytime. It's free, right? The technical answer, sure. But in these moments, especially in moves like this, um, helicopter and pinwheel, you call it pinwheel, yeah? Pinwheel, all these things, you need your arms to be either neutral or they're in active use. Okay, so there's not a lot of opportunity for raising of the arm. But if you are talking about, if your question is when do you raise your arm to go into closed position, okay, it's as you begin to travel forward. So another note from the boot camp yesterday, we talked about why do we step back and why do we step forward, okay? So we step back to only, okay? Write this down, put it on a t-shirt, put it on your mirror, tattoo it on your face. Okay. We only step behind our body line to propel ourselves forward. Okay? Now, there's always exceptions to the rule and there's always a softness to our rules with um, street Latin dance, salsa, bachata, chicha, menege, cumbia. Okay, so this right here, this motion, you wanna keep your heel up and we're only doing this motion to push and guide ourselves forward. That's very important. It's the same like hustle. Hustle has a very, um, the same kind of action, but it stay, you stay on the spot before you come forward, okay? But all the dances that I just mentioned is really to propel yourself 
and a forward motion. That's why we have open braid. That's why we have things like that. So my point, you raise your arm. You can raise it on the back half, but usually you will see him open and expand to receive you when you're coming forward, when you're coming towards him. So that's your moment. Maybe I'm doing some, some other styling. Maybe I'm doing this one, some body line. Okay, I'm doing some body line. I'm propelling forward with my legs. And now my arm's coming forward or up as my body's coming forward to be received by my partner. So your arm's always coming up when you're gonna be received, but not until you see that he even wants to receive you. Maybe he doesn't want to bring you in close position. Not that he doesn't love you. There's much okay. love. What else you got? Uh, había una pregunta de los pasos, or if you're brand new, um, do you learn footwork first, or do you learn frame first? Do you learn oh, posture? I got some for that, but go ahead. Um, no, no, please do. Let's, okay. let's talk about that. What, do you know the person's name? No? I do not. Hello, person who asked that oh, question. Oh, in Espanol? Oh, in Espanol? No. So oh, okay. So um, do you learn footwork first or partner work or what do we do? So you really want to be working on yourself. This is like life lessons, right? Life lessons that happen in our dance lessons. So we want to be working on ourselves first. So your own footwork, your own body movement, not necessarily like you have to be all, you know, isolated and perfect, but you do have to know where does your body weight need to be? Like on what foot? How do you transfer? How do you do this merengue action? Like what is that anyway? How do you do it? How do you step? So you want to get it together first, okay? Then we dance together. Then, okay, here's my partner. Here we are, we're dancing. Now I know, okay, salsa has these basic rules. This is how I'm supposed to step. This is how I'm supposed to hold my hands, how my posture is supposed to be, okay? Now I'm ready, okay? Then I can practice my follow or I can practice my lead in that moment. But if you don't know the basic um, foundation of all the ingredients for yourself, it's very difficult to put that into partner work right away. And I know for guys, for the leads, you know, it's always like moves, 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 you know? And so that's good to have those moves going, running in the background, but without technique, it's really gonna be tough if your arms are kinda everywhere and you're doing 25 moves. That was me 21 years ago. I know, so you, I mean, I don't know, but I think, I think so. Yeah, like if you have a lot of moves but not a lot of quality, it's not really worth yeah, it, right? Good. It's better to have just a few moves but super high quality, man, that's a badass dance. So one thing that I, I'm going to bring Roger back real quick before we go in for a move. If you don't have a partner, this is how I practice uh -huh. my, my, my framing, right? So here I am. This is keeping my body level. A lot of you guys dance like this. Believe it or not, when you're dancing side to side and you're having somebody, you tend to drop your arm. This is a great way for you to have a reminder that, look, I'm still having my frame. A lot of you like this style because... It, it looks so elegant, it looks smooth, se ve bien elegante. Ahora, hay que practicarlo. You gotta practice this by yourself. So guess what? I'm moving as one piece. Whatever move that you do, whatever moves you're learning, doesn't matter if your cross-body lead looks... So make sure that we're actually now working on our frame, doing cross-body leads, basic. So it's really important that if you only have two or three moves, that you practice those three or four moves um, with great posture, great footwork, without going flat-footed, because I notice a lot of people dance like this, really flat. So what, what Serena said about keeping our weight change, working on our Cuban motion, very important so we can look nice as we're doing that. Yeah? Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Con música, Serena, let's do our move. Con música. Okay, everybody. Mi gente se les quiere mucho. We're going to do our move on one and on two, okay, with the same stream of music. So we'll cue it out on one, on two, okay? And start thinking of the ending. So 
Piensen en algo en que podemos terminar este movimiento. Si tienen una, una opción, una, una pregunta, ¿cómo podemos terminar? Perfecto. If you have any options or anything that you want to learn to finish this move, let's do it as we're reaching our end of the show. ¿Cómo vamos a terminar esto? They like it. They say we're on fire. I mean, we're literally on fire. Chicos, it's hot. It's like a hundred and something. Although it's gray out. Perhaps something you don't teach much, but more importantly, how would you finish? Okay. Terry says, how would I finish it? Or how would I? Yeah. I know how Mary would finish it. But you decide to show what you think. You decide how Neri would finish it, Neri. Okay. I always like to display my ladies. Ooh, that was nice. Let's, let's see. Okay. Vamos aquí, on one, right now. I'm switching the hands. Okay. All right? Oh, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So from here, I'm going to use a, ooh, I like that. I'm just gonna create, I'm just gonna play here, right? So I'm here, or oh, I can go under, flick, catch. Get me inside, huh? Some flicks, hmm. whatever I want. them thumbs. So, <laughs> let's do it like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm gonna come in. So as I'm coming in, this is something I learned from Daniel and Desiree from Bachata, okay? And I'm, and I'm gonna put this out there because they're great teachers. So a lot of people have confusion mm -hmm. with how, what's in, what's how, counterclockwise, clockwise. They made it so simple. This is, don't touch me, Serena. Don't touch me. This 
is touch me. <laughs> touch me. Right? So I love that. Okay. Daniel and Desiree, thank you so much. I was in the Dominican Republic last weekend with them. And so I took their workshops and I learned this. I love this whole thing. Don't touch me. <laughs> e? Touch me. Okay. okay? So as we do that, you have to think, do you want touch me or do you want to go don't touch me? So as a lead, you have to think about this right before as you do this move. And we're going to do don't touch me. So as we're going here, switching it, mm -hmm. Liga, mm -hmm, I'm going to go don't touch me. So that means my arm has to go out. out first. So I have to go out and go boom to flick it so I can catch it. So with whichever one you pick, that's the way that your arm guy has to go first. So if you see, I'm here, okay? He's going to go to the left up high first. And she then let go of me there, okay? If he wanted to do the other way, uh -huh. if he wanted to go the other way, he would start by going inward. And then come Right? So go. you just go ahead and start the way that you want it to go. You want it to go this way? Start it this way. You want it to go that way? You start moving your arm that way. There's not a lot of thinking about it. You just have to go for it. The way, the direction you want to go. That's like the inside outside touch me, touch me. So we'll go with the do not touch me. So as we go, open break. A one, two, three, windmill. Five, switch, switch six, switch, seven. Switch. switch. I'm going to go don't touch me on one. I'm going to go one, two, and three. And immediately I'm going to catch so she can start walking five, six, Seven and one. And that's really just a crossbody lead mm -hmm. behind his back under the bridge. Watch again. Watch the move after the catch. So here, one, two, three. Okay, we're here. Whoop. Sorry, I gotta do it again. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now watch. My job is to stay on the track. He's on the rail. He's off the track. So I'm gonna walk forward. My five, my six. He starts raising the arm and turning, turning or bringing his arm towards me which is really just a half turn. I'm going from facing 12 to facing six o'clock and we're here, okay? And he can style his exit, which is so cool. And I can style my arrival into that move. So, super nice, I like that. Image. A great way to practice this also, thank you, Serena, is merengue. If we do merengue, merengue, merengue. I'm practicing merengue, le doy la vuelta, I give her a turn, otra vuelta. And I get to practice my movement. I'm saying, don't touch me. So I'm going to go, don't touch me, into a flick. Then I make her walk, merengue. And then I do a merengue to my right and finish. Right. And that's always awesome to practice just like, what is the lead? What is the follow? What is the communication? Instead of worrying about arms and feet, especially when you're first learning something, guys, leads, this is a really awesome way to kind of put it all together and solidify it in your brain and in your body. It's just to walk it out slowly, okay? And then kind of figure out, okay, I'm supposed to turn, and then I'm supposed to do this thing, and then I'm supposed to do this thing. Muscle kind of, memory. Yeah, it kind of helps you figure out what the driving is, what the lead is, instead of dealing with footwork and upper body. Let's put it together. Okay, on one, from the top. So we're gonna go half a basic, into a reverse, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. We're gonna go into an open break, and one, two, three, into a drive. One, two, three, ready to give her her back, open break, windmill, one, two, three, switch hands, five, six, seven, don't touch me, one, two, and three, walker, five, six, and seven, one, two, three. Okay? And dos. And dos. <laughs> Woo! Now I'm gonna sweat some more. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Hop. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One. Ooh. Nice. Nice, very nice. Okay, a ver. Very good, everybody. Thank you for watching today. Yeah, let's put this to music, Serena. Yes. We're coming to the one minute mark. One minute. One, one minute. minute. One hour? Well, it's, one been minute. A, it's been an hour already. Oh, we have one minute left? 
Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let's do it to music. On one, on two. Look how humid it is. Okay, sing song, everybody. In case you love it. No hay otra, no hay otra. Otra? Otra canción. Otra. Vamos a agarrar peluche que sale afuera. Go, peluche. Let's go. Is that Bulgaria? It's in time for Halloween. Here we go, on one. That was hot. It's hot, people. Ay, estoy muriendo de calor. De nada, you're welcome. And I don't know how to say it in French. Very nice. Thank you guys for joining us. Everybody, Ladies thank you. Ladies and the gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For giving us your love from anywhere in the world that you're in right now. Um, we really, truly appreciate all the beautiful things that you... You write to us, that you talk to us about, um, Thank you. the beautiful comments, everything that makes us continue to do what we love to do with, gracias. with so much gratitude. Muchas gracias a todos otra vez por esta oportunidad de gracias. estar con nosotros aquí en la Florida. Serena se va mañana para San Diego y después yo me voy el viernes, el late Friday, to go to San Diego and we'll do another one. We'll do another class over there. Like the old days. Again, Serena, days. Um, if you can, just tell them a little bit about yes. what's going on. And so, then our studio, 
in San Diego needs your help, your support. If you um, know Mary and myself, you know that we are, uh, you know, we give our life to this. Can you help me with this? Yeah. Um, and this is our favorite thing to do, and we know that it brings a lot of joy to you guys, you know, and uh, of course it brings a lot of joy to us. So, um, yeah. Maria! Please um, just remember that everything matters, everything helps, everything is uh, good support. If you can donate to the, the sales studios GoFundMe, that will help us to keep a studio location as we transition out of the unit that we have to move out of. Um, that will help us to uh, go into the new studio. So um, that just means so much to, to me, to Neri. You know that the sales studios is Neri's West Coast home. And uh, it is his studio. It's his, his heart. It's my studio. It's my heart. It is all of your studios. It's where we filmed all of our um, pandemic uh, COVID YouTube videos. So everything was filmed in there. So uh, we want to keep it alive, keep serving the people, keep serving the community, and, um, you know, please do help donate what you can. We do have to raise $60,000 in by the 31st. What? It's coming up. Um, so everything matters, and if you cannot contribute or you're like money side or whatever, it's all good. Please, if you would just at least please share the link because you never know who that will reach and how they can support us through you, right? Um, so we really appreciate you, appreciate all of you um, in all of the channels and all of the mediums today. It's been really great having a multiple camera set up as we used to, <laughs> uh, just like during the, the pandemic time. So if you have questions about the GoFundMe or you want to know exactly where the money goes and how things work, how all of that works, before you contribute, you're more than welcome to write uh, me personally or privately um, or publicly, it doesn't matter, and we will get back to you with exactly what you need, okay? And uh, we're happy to show you everything, I even show you the, the new facility that we're gonna be moving into. It's a stunning place, and the mall where we're located has been generous enough to give us a larger unit um, for the same rent, and uh, that's a super blessing. And if we don't meet the mark, we don't get the place. It's very simple. Um, that we won't have our old place because someone else is moving in and we won't have our <coughs> old place. So that's kind of the bottom line, right? Um, and it makes sense and it's all very fair to all parties involved. So um, I'm thankful for the mall, Otay Ranch Town Center, for supporting us in all these months. You know, we were closed for 15 months. Our students had to do classes either online like this um, or through Zoom or uh, in the park when we were allowed to. You know, California state restrictions are intense sometimes. Um, so we're thankful that we get to be open. We just want to stay open and keep providing service for the community and, and for all of you. So um, please do what you can, at least uh, minimally, at least share the link and say a little something if you can. Um, if you're interested in donating, please uh, visit the sales studio uh, in, Instagram, in, in Instagram. Facebook. I'll put the link in here as well if you can't see it. Um, it should be there. But other than that, um, I'm a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, you guys really. Thank you, everybody. We're going to be logging off, but we will see you again this weekend, just like this, probably more dry, okay? <laughs> and in the studio. Those will be our last days, our last um, days in that studio so uh please definitely tune in to that youtube live uh or, or all of all, all of the mediums but definitely tune in this weekend when aries here that's going to be a very special time and for my friends who are in san diego my friends and students who are based in san diego if you want to join Neri and myself we are going to be partying uh for dia de los muertos on november 1st it is a monday night of course um at our salsa night monday night and it's Neri's last night in San Diego, so please join us to celebrate at Tio Leo's Monday night in San Diego. Um, or if you're from out of town, hey, come be with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. All right, everybody. So um, hello to everybody in the world, because I know Greece. Yeah. Uh, we have Morocco. Everybody wants us on YouTube. I man, I look like this. Yes, you look like that. <laughs> but any anywho, thank you so much for making us dance, thank sweat. You. Thank you. Um, we're grateful. Look, look are. everybody, there you all are. Say hi to each other. And uh, again, thank, thank you, you so guys. much. Thank gracias. you. Se me cuidan. Say bye, Serena. Bye. Y gracias. Nos vemos.